In this demo, I will show how to record an arrangement, how to edit your arrangements, and how to export them. I've loaded a track that already has chained patterns. I will switch to song mode and record this arrangement. Later on, we will see that I can edit this arrangement directly. I start recording. As you can see, my first pattern is playing. Since the pattern chaining is automated, it switches automatically to the second pattern. While it plays, I can still start other patterns. I have started this pattern manually, and will restart another one. I am happy with the result so I will now go and play what I just recorded. The rhizome is replaying exactly the recording I just made. We can also load a pattern this way and edit it. For example, I can change its end like this, or change the beginning like this, or change the patterns directly, as you can see. I will use the addition I just created. An interesting feature of the Mixer Console is that I have multiple tracks. I would like to export all of those tracks to later save them in my DAW directly and mix my song. I switch back to the song mode, then select the export function. As you can see, all the export parameters are displayed, allowing us to choose the sample rate. I could export the master only, or a bounce from the master, and also all the mix tracks, all the bus tracks, all of the aux tracks, or all of them. I will now export all the mix tracks, choosing WAV format. I will then select the destination, starting with the disk location, and then directly into the Projects folder. Here, at the bottom of the screen, I can change the default name for the song. For this example, I will keep the default name. All I have to do now is hit Enter to complete the bounce. Now that I've exported my song directly from the Rhizome, I also have Ableton Live installed inside the Rhizome, in the built-in computer. I will now browse through my hard drive. In the Projects folder, here you can see all the samples that were exported with their names. All there is left to do is take these samples and copy and paste them into Ableton Live. I close my folder, extend my window, and here you can see all of the samples. I will now deactivate the warp for all those samples and place each one of them in a new separate track. We will now be able to see each signal for each sample, but mainly be able to play the song. You can imagine but if we did the same thing in any other DAW, we could completely remix all the tracks independently. For example, take this sound and do a new mix. 